anyway i'll just talk about the car not much swapped out the optima put a new coil red i didn't go mishimoto i've heard a lot of horror stories and the prices were the same in this one i thought i had better reviews since i went with the new radiator put a new overflow 40 bucks penny wise pound foolish to have the murky nasty water flowing through a brand new radiator that's the stock um the stock coolant catch but uh i went ahead and splurged and got myself the moroso which is where the sticker came from i'm gonna swap that on there i had it on there but i had a problem with this radiator cap linking so i called back import image and told him hey the radiator's trash and after a couple emails and i don't know persuasive emails of verbiage to say i know how to tighten a radiator cap they sent me a new one because they wanted to see these little tangs line up with the things that are on the on the actual aluminum housing i'm like i promise you it can't spin anymore i know how to turn put on a radiator cap so which if you check the reviews of this maybe it's just a crappy cap but they say some of them have been known to, to leak so it was just bubbling over and blowing back on the turbo and i was smelling it and anyway I had to swap back but went with the grim speed hoses grim speed cold air pairing turbo inlet swapped out the grim speed um intercooler bought a um, blow-off valve from subaru for the uh, wrx i think it is or can't remember if it's the sti but of course it's got a vent down and over bought a new hose um i think that's about it came with this nice alternator already swapped as far as under here oh yeah put the brim speed um, boost controller on the groom speed um what do you call it air air dam and this is this is the jdm uh air scoop or intercooler scoop um i kept the original one just in case but where did i put it not that i think i'll get to it get to using it but i've got too many parts in here that i probably need to go through and get rid of and some stuff is sell oh here it is this is the original one so this is this has the one that came off this car the red one i just put it in the box that i got the uh the jdm one from but those are brand new um 99 what are they wrx wheels um over here i knew you'd run winter tires and summer tires and i figured well i better take these with me just because i didn't want to run the steelies which a lot of people put the steel summer or snow tires on but i went ahead and bought if you want to google what they look like that's the, the part number um, but you'll probably see a weird picture but hang on a sec i'll take this down just because um i'm sure people are curious when it comes to rims and stuff but I just liked the look on the car and I think they're a little bit fatter than what I've got. Uh, I think the ones on this car right now are 16 by, what is it, 16 by six and a half. And these ones are 16 by seven. Let me see, what can I open this with? This. but they're brand new of course i bought five of them in case one in case i slip off the road and damage one i don't have to wait on it as you know with the all-wheel drive system if any wheel is a different size or whatever it, it thinks you're slipping and you can burn up the center but these were bought from subaru but these um this is the style i like the 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 offset and i thought the uh, the design of the five star was nice but um brand new five of them and it took me forever to find them because i bought three from car id for a decent price man i want to say that three of them were like 800 bucks on free shipping or something they do a military discount 
uh, which I qualify for. I'm in the reserves, but nonetheless, um, I couldn't find a fourth one to match. I bought, bought one off eBay. I bought one from another company, and the finish was not the same as the three I got. So I had to bite the bullet, send all three back to Car ID, and just went ahead and bought, um, what is it, five of these, not all at the same time. I bought one, one paycheck, bought another one, you know, later, little by little when I was in the States, but to get them all to have the same finish so that they would match it's the little things i know but um anyway i'll put those on with some summer tires eventually but the car's got brand new all seasons in the stock forster xt rims so i'll get to that eventually and then i bought these other ones are from my wife's ascent for brand new for her to run snow and summer and then, unfortunately, I hate to admit it, but these are brand new for my 99. So, yeah, I came over here with a crap load of rims. But anyway, those ones are 16 by 6 and a half, I think. I can't remember, but they're the stock 5-star on a 99 Forester S. But these ones didn't come on the Forester. I like these, um, the look of these when I saw them on the WRX. I think it was a WRX. I can't remember if it's STI, WRX, whatever. But it's a 99. And um, Impreza, maybe. And um, had to have them. So pulled the trigger. And for all five of them was, I don't know, it was like 335 including shipping. So I bought all my parts from Subaru Source. Um jam up prices usually 35 37 percent off of everything which is where i got the headlights and stuff uh cheapest i've found around um so for these the wheel was like 292 and then it was 40 40 bucks shipping so around 335 each wheel 1500 bucks but whatever <clears throat> and let's see so as you can see I put the window tint on it, but in the States I had it tinted 18%. It's got the Fun 5 in it. Uh, interior was jam up. I actually put one of those rips with something in my pocket, but the little one at the bottom was, was came with the car. But other than that, I'm looking at buying a new seat back. Just the upholstery is like from the same place, Subaru Source. But no problems, got 114,000 miles on it. I bought it, it had 111, so I haven't had to do anything. Got, and I got some trash in here. But um, yeah, as you would expect the Forester, it, it gets used. Put my Grim Speed sticker on there. And the wife's ascent. 20, 2019 but it's a good car just did an oil change yesterday on this um, no problems runs 180 man I, I noticed a, a big difference swapping this radiator to to aluminum from the factory one because uh, I got a cob access port in there and the, it would be over 200 on the regular as far as temperature and just driving around you know in savannah before we got here and you know granted okay it's not really cold in the, in savannah or whatever for temp changes but i knew coming over here and i'd read the horror stories that the radiator splits so i figured well i bought a bite the bullet at some point so i bought that and um man instantly i mean i i run around at like 180 tops usually 190 and that radiator has helped i mean it's not now just the fins that are doing the cooling the whole radiator you know air eights as you're going down the road and um it it does a, i definitely notice it so it's a great upgrade in my opinion but my 99 forester i had a 99 or i had a 02 legacy and i just swapped those cv axles before i told before the car's head gasket went so i took them off and now my 99 forester ripped to boot so i'll put those on but other than that, that's the Grim Speed box there. And that's my other headlight up there. I don't really have much else. Got a couple of little piddly things that I'm going to do. So Subaru Source 
sent me the antifreeze. I'm going to swap the uh, fuel filter. I've had this box for a month or two. I need to do a timing belt on this car. I don't know when it was done, but um, that's the thermostat. I went ahead and bought the water pump, and I got the other. So if you look up the water pump number for this car, you get the one that's got like the blades on the back, and I just don't like that. Um, I like this, I guess they call this the impeller, and I thought it was uh, cleaner, and I put that on my 99 Forester. Uh, when I, that, I did a, uh, bought a motor from Engines US, came as a long block, and I put all the timing kit on there, and I've had good experience with this, but I want to say this pump was only like 78, 72 bucks from Subaru Source, and then of course, you, I, when I buy, I just try to buy and pay one shipping, but they always ship it priority mail no problems that's their name if you're if you're looking but um anyway bought a antifreeze this is a power steering hose return so if you look at this one on here it's a little dry rotted in my opinion you can kind of see some uh cracks and stuff into the hose goes down in there so i just figure well if i'm gonna do a timing chain while i have it off i might as well do a fluid flush i mean the hose was like 20 some bucks and then the return is over here i may go ahead and spring for that too but um i need to do plugs do some plugs on it because i don't know it and in my opinion it idles a little rough um i mean the car the carfax was decent uh i didn't have a ton of service history or anything on it but i don't know about the clutch and you know just some things i don't know i'm only this i'm the second owner uh it was i bought it from a place in texas but it came from california and the original owner's name was in there as a couple i guess and then it looked like according to the carfax it sat for three or four years i don't know um in california because there was no title no nothing so there was a gap from like 08 to, or excuse me, maybe 11, I think. I'd have to go back and look from like 11 to 16 with nothing. There was no Carfax entry for being titled, emissioned, anything. And then, I don't know, it had a couple more years of stuff. And then, boom, in, in 20, beginning of 2019, it went to auto auction or something. And then the people in Texas got it. And then I got it from them, auto um I can't remember it's just auto car auto world or something like that in texas i found it on auto trader hit them up threw them a deposit and had it shipped over to savannah and i basically bought it sight unseen but man it's been fun um no problems it's got a small tune on it i, I did do a, a a vf48 upgrade on it a couple of grim speed parts i put the grim speed catted ceramic downpipe uh the vf48 grim speed um turbo heat shield obviously the y pipe and all that stuff to make that fit but grim speed does a military discount too uh 10 percent um if you buy from them but i bought all this stuff together and they gave me a little bit extra off because i was buying i guess so much at once rather than just a one part here one part there 10 percent but um i would recommend they're 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 a great um quality company if you want you know again good parts you pay a little bit but uh really really good service and um, parts um, but with the vf48 i had the tdo4 came stock with that on this car and when i was doing the turbo downpipe i know i did the, the shaft play and it was pretty good like it had a good bit there was no smoke and the car doesn't burn the intercooler's dry the turbo was dry all that stuff so i mean the car has not been run hard and um, being from california it has an up pipe with a cat it had a crossover with a cat it had you know the downpipe that has cats so i mean the thing would not get up you know to get out of its own way and so um i spent some money put the exhaust upgraded the exhaust there's a turbo excess from the downpipe to this i put the stock exhaust muffler on it um, because i didn't want anything crazy sounding um, no drum or nothing like that as i'm going down the road and i like it it's quiet but um it's it's clean under there and so the the, the small tune it wasn't like a dyno tune but uh, the guy drove it around and you know got up pretty good out in valdosta and and uh programmed it through the cob so there's a there's a tune on the cob that the car is running off of and um yeah i mean i couldn't i couldn't be happier at the moment a couple more things i may want to do um like over here i may go get it on a on a after i do the um timing and do the new plugs um 
I may take it and go get it dyno tuned here in Germany. I think there's a place I saw online that's not maybe an hour from here for, I don't know, a few hundred euros. Um, just depends. I'm sure it may go up or down. But it's uh, they do a lot of Subarus according to their website. I have to find the name again, but I'm happy with it. Um, it's pretty quick, but at the same time, being here in Germany, you've got Porsches and Mercedes that are passing you like you're standing still. So um, it's... I drive it as such. I'm not trying to beat on it. I want it to last. That's about it. I guess I rambled enough. I don't really have any extra to go off of on this car, but um, a little bit of paint fade at the top. But I don't know that I'm going to do anything to it paint-wise or put any spats or, you know, swap out any kind of body kit. It's not really what I'm going to looking for. As you can see, the tires are pretty good. Brakes are decent. I may do the two and four pot upgrade, but other than that, I don't have a lot of plans to, to drop ten or fifteen thousand bucks in it. I'm not trying to hit seven hundred horse. So, anyhow, that's it. Throw a comment if you want to see anything particular, but um, I'm happy to answer questions. Got nothing else with this car to, that I think in the future, other than just basic maintenance, I'll be doing to it. Uh, as far as performance wise to do i am missing a intercooler bolt which i've got on order i'm expecting a couple packages here but um yeah other than that that's it stock stock fuel stock everything else i didn't i didn't swap out any fuel pumps crazy injectors so let me know what you think